What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Diablo Immortal video. We've had a turn of events go on inside of the game. I want to share with you what's new inside of the game today and what I just realized that was just absolutely slipping my mind. So let's start off with the day right now because sad day, Survivor's Bane, my favorite game mode. It's no longer in the game, but it will be back in a couple of weeks. Uh, I don't exactly know the date. We could look at the calendar, but for right now that's not important. But um, good thing is... My second favorite event is inside of the game right now, and that is Trial of the Hordes. Why is Trial of the Hordes my second favorite? Mostly because it's very easy to collect the battle point rewards. These are very easy to grab, and I like free progression. It makes it easier and less of a struggle for your grind throughout the day. Make sure you get your battle pass to rank 40, all that stuff, and to keep yourself above Paragon level, or at least at it. So, although the game mode is not the most, uh, you know, the most exciting, Although I think it is fairly exciting. It's one that I like because the rounds are quick and because you could quickly get rewards for it. And in my opinion, it's fairly easy to be victorious in. At least I've figured out the way. Maybe we'll play some of that tomorrow. Not sure. But for now, we're going to go on. All clans on deck rewards are ready to be uh, completed and collected as of today. And remember, the overflowing arsenal is still going on. Make sure you grab those greens. They've been dropping some good ones. I did notice that I need to do terror rifts. Uh, and Elder Rifts, and the Forgotten Tower. So, looks like I'm going to be diving into that. To be honest, I have not been doing a bunch of Terror Rifts at all. I just haven't been doing it, because it just never works out. I'm not sitting around at the right time waiting for it, and uh, probably should be, but I'm not. So, I'm going to probably have to start doing a little bit of that. I want to get these rewards so that we can make sure that we at least get this last set of greens before we go over to these choice ones as well. All right. Uh, in addition to that, I was walking around. I was walking around West March, and I said to myself, you know, I'm, I'm getting close to Paragon 400. The Paragon server level is 390. Just got over it the other day. Caught up on all my bounties and stuff. Um, we should probably be jumping to the next Inferno difficulty. So I went over here, and I realized that Inferno 2 is Paragon 400, which... For all of us, because the server Paragon level we'll be jumping is going to be on Monday. The server Paragon level is going to be 400. So a lot of people, let's be honest, a lot of people already have been. But some people are going to begin farming Inferno 2. And probably should already be farming Inferno 2 to get that Inferno 2 gear early. That means on Monday, when everyone switches to Inferno 2, and when you have the high enough Paragon level and your combat rating is high enough, combat rating 37,320, which I am already beyond, you're going to be able to throw on that new gear, which is going to be stronger, better gear. That means you're going to be looking for all new legendary pieces of gear, all new gear from Terror Rifts, and you're going to be looking for all new green pieces of gear. So this is my call to you that... Now is the time today, probably last week, and it just slipped my mind through being sick and being away and all of that. Didn't even take a peek at it. Well, you should be starting the farm Inferno 2, which is what I'm going to be doing starting today. I'm going to be doing all of my farming in Inferno 2. It's going to probably be less of a just running through things and more of a little bit of a grind because it's been very easy in Inferno 1. But we'll test that out at the end of this video to see how difficult it is. As you saw, Inferno 2 requires 37,320 combat rating. And when I look at myself, I'm 37,853 combat rating. So it looks like I am well beyond what I need to be to run through Inferno 2. So we'll be able to do that in just a minute. But remember, this is something that I always preach and I think it's really important. When we go to a new Inferno difficulty, all of this gear it's going to be able to be upgraded to new gear. Obviously, we already have the essences, or you probably do if you're already going to Inferno 2. You have the essences for your build. Cool. You have all the greens that you want, but they're going to be able to be replaced with better ones. So, as of Monday, we're going to want to start finding better pieces of gear for each of these slots that are going to have higher combat rating, better magic attributes, all the good stuff, because it is next level. And remember, I think Inferno 2 goes from 400 to 700 combat rating, which will be for quite a while. Plus, all the greens are going to need to be replaced. So, first of all, I want to just check myself right there. It is from, uh, oh, it's 400 to 600, not 400 to 700. So, for 200 combat rating, so for 20 weeks, you're going to be hanging out in that level. But something that we need to remember is I save, as should you, as I preach that everyone does, all of these items. All of these are what we need to use to upgrade our stuff instantly. So what I can do, 
as soon as I go to Inferno 2, as soon as my combat rating is, as soon as my um, Paragon level is where it needs to be, when I hit 400 Paragon and I am in Inferno 2 and that's all official, I'm going to open up all of these legendary pieces of gear. Because remember, these open up at whatever your Paragon level and whatever your Inferno difficulty is. So I want to make sure I open these at the proper time so I don't open them and get Inferno 1 gear, which is useless to me at this point in time. I'm looking for Inferno 2. Same thing with the greens. We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 greens. Maybe we'll get lucky. All of this stuff is going to basically be worthless. Obviously, we can convert some of it if we want to, but it never seems to be like the most efficient way. And of course, well, you could go fishing and you could save some of your fish turn in those fish because those can give you legendary pieces of gear as well and wherever you open those up it will be a legendary piece of gear of that level so again let's do that in inferno 2 level i've been holding on to these pieces of gear as well this is going to be um at my progress level also so i'm going to get some new pieces of gear there and we have all these chests and stuff don't even really remember what's inside of them but uh who cares we're going to open them up at the right time that means we're going to have to do all of the purification of all this stuff as well because remember when we do this we want to make sure that we get all of the cursed this all stuff right look at this actually i'm missing one right there we have to go for wired get that extra sixth piece but you want to make sure that your cursed properties are going to be all legit these are all going to be wrecked once you replace all those pieces. So remember what you want to use. I'm using a, a six-piece wired and a two-piece lashed. So I'm going to need to use these purples, go to the blacksmith, and repurify everything so that we're good to go on all that stuff as well. So let's actually put it to the test. Let's dive into something, just a regular bounty. And let's see how I can run through things as right now, it's, as it sits. I'm above Paragon level. Most likely, I'll be able to just run through this, and I probably won't feel a difference from Inferno 1 to Inferno 2, but we'll see. We're going to see what it actually looks like. And I actually love coming to Ancient's Cradle because there's no real reason to come here besides bounties. Oops, let's go. And, uh, well, so let's go run through it and see what it looks like. Literally just going to run through the way that I normally do, and what's, what's happening here? I am just running through everything still. Above Paragon level. Should have probably been doing this. Um, man, I should have probably been doing this for weeks because... I would have had a lot more gear prepared, but I didn't prepare myself. And you know what? At the end of the day, being someone that's not a huge PvP guy and being someone that doesn't, that really just uh, tries to enjoy the game, I'm fine with what I'm doing. I'm going to get a little bit of a head right now over the next couple of days and, uh, and get a few extra pieces of gear that we could potentially use in place of what we're using. So that's going to be fun. Again, remember, when you're doing those purification shards, we only get so many. I mean, most of us have a thousand that we're sitting on, but it could sometimes take 20 to get the right cursed property that you're looking for. So I'm always just trying to make sure that I get the right piece of gear for the right slot so that I can make sure that I'm not just wasting purification shards and just re-putting new pieces in over and over again. So confirmed, it's easy to go through Inferno's difficulty too because, well, at least for me, with the proper combat rating that we're sitting at right now. That bounty is complete. We have to also look at doing some, like I said, of those terror rifts as well. They drop at the top of the hour, so at 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, I should be looking to jump into a bunch of those because, uh, well, that's how we're going to get some of that additional gear. And now we should be getting it in the Inferno, for, uh, Inferno 2 difficulty. Wow, remember when we were up uh, to Inferno 3 and getting towards that Inferno 4? That's your update for the day, guys. New events, and uh, make sure that you're farming the right stuff. Trial of the Hordes is going to get you progressed the most quickly today, as well as doing your bounties and your dungeons, and getting ready for Inferno 2 with farming in that level, as long as your combat rating is high enough. And if you're really close, you can kind of, uh, you could kind of push your way through it if you want to. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you're enjoying Diablo Immortal, and I'll see you guys back tomorrow with another video. Have a great Friday, guys.